Hey, what's up, guys? It's Pokemaster Silver here. It's about time I've done this, but welcome to the fourth episode of Poke Talk. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry about this delay. I kind of, well, I was waiting to get more questions, but I never did. And I kind of got really lazy and didn't feel like doing it. So I figured I might as well. I'm kind of bored today, and, you know, I might as well. Alright, the first question is from Strike Ones. Uh, he says, who's your favorite star Pokemon from each region? So this is going to take a little bit. Alright, from the f from the first, which would be Johto, I would have to say uh, Squirtle. It used to be Charmander, but then once you get over the fact that I couldn't get past the first gym because of the rock difference, I kind of gave up on Charizard loving, and I now love Blastoise. Uh, oh shit, sorry, that was, that's, uh, Kanto. Okay, well, going to Johto. My favorite is obviously Cyndaquil. I always love the fire types. Next is Hoenn, which would be, um, my favorite, which one was, uh, that was Trico, uh, Torchic, and... Uh, Mudkip. Uh, that's a little awkward because I would prefer to have a Trico, but I like Blazikens more than whatever they turned into. All I know is it was Trico and Grovile. Grovile is a pretty kick ass, don't get me wrong, but I like Blazikens more. Next is Seno, I believe. Yeah, Seno. Um, that is, uh, before I used to like, uh, I want Chimchar, but my brother took it, so he made me pick, I didn't want to have a Piplup, but then I, so I picked a Grodel, or not Grodel, a Turtwig, and Torteras are pretty cool, but I like Empoleons more than Torteras. So I guess Piplup out of that. Next is, uh, our latest one which is uh the issue region and out of that uh i've already said this i like uh i think they all look really stupid but so far uh uh i forget what its name is that uh the water type its second of all form is pretty cool and i've showed you in the uh the one picture, I'm still waiting for a clear picture. When I get that, I'll show you guys. But, uh, yeah, so right now, my, uh, favorite is that, uh, is the water type. Alright. Moving on, we have. I really don't know how to, uh, pronounce this. Kiwi101. He says, uh, he has a couple of questions. The first one is. Excuse me. The first one is this is off. This one is off topic, but what do you think about the new Nintendo 3DS? Um, it doesn't uh, it doesn't bother me that I'm not getting Pokemon questions, guys, because it kind of gets boring and repetitive. But if you want them, then I'll answer them, no problem. I think the Nintendo 3DS is going to be awesome, and only because uh, they're making a bunch of remakes for it and all I know so far is three they're making the f they're remaking the first Kingdom Hearts for it they're making Star Fox 64 for the Nintendo 3DS and they're making Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 3DS go into my channel and look at my favorites it's uh it should be the latest one I've added you can watch all the games that they've put on and it's really cool yeah, again, excuse me. Yeah, there. That's really cool. So I need one. The only thing that bothers me is it's either going to have the screen of the screen size of a of a Nintendo DS Lite or a DSi. I'd rather have the normal DSi because one, they're bigger, and I'm more accustomed to it. It feels really weird to play on my normal DS Lite, so I kind of avoid it. 
Alright, uh, his second question is, don't you think the new Pokemon look quite different from the past, uh, generations, like the start for this, like the starters, for example? Sorry. Um, they do, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, now is it? Um, I think, uh, they do, but it's, they all, they're, uh, they're all pretty cool, except for one of the newer ones, which is this weird pissed off looking chipmunk that has its hands it looks like it's holding a like a fake gun to itself like if you motion the uh, fingers to your head type thing my favorite is the hawk one it's pretty cool and uh here's a picture of it now yeah it, i really like it it's pretty cool um i mean they've all been different but they've all had a similar feel to it but these are completely different except for the Bird, I forget what its name is, which obviously you have to have one that looks like Starly and Pidgey and stuff. Alright, and his final question, supporting the exploring theory instead of the gym theory, does the map to you look like there's no gyms but a lot of caves? Um, yeah it does, but unfortunately the uh, that exploring theory has been busted. Seeing that the fact of the video I posted up today of uh, Pokemon Sunday yesterday where they showed two gym battles now these questions were from june 21st which i'm assuming was either the day or the day after uh... i put up my last thing so it's been a while guys almost a month and i really do apologize for that but uh... uh... going on that yeah there are a lot of caves and I've only seen two gym battles so far. I haven't seen them completely, but just watch the new video I put today. If if I knew how to put links in, I would. Or like a video annotation, I would. And if anyone knows how, please tell me. But uh yeah. Uh wow, this is on this has been seven minutes so far. I thought I was gonna be short video. Alright, uh, that's all for now, guys. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.